Hello, YouTubers, friends, for patrons. Blue Liquor Shields, Deathly Source, Pests and Vassals, Minions. You know the drill. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, hey, let's go to Libya. And just when you think things there couldn't get any stranger, uh, they do. We have uh, now confirmation that Egyptian and United Arab Emirate uh, jet fighters have been uh, striking positions against the uh, militants, Islamist militants in Libya. Uh, most notably the ones that have uh, taken over the international airport there. And so they are uh, supporting General Hifter, and he is mounting a uh, uh, army of um, a lot of ex-military and uh, a more secular uh, approach, and a former Gaddafi loyalist, as a matter of fact, before he rebelled against Gaddafi, who is now mounting a coup against the uh, government, in uh, in uh, Libya, as well as the, all the Islamists that have taken over, and uh, the, the other part of this interesting uh, dynamic is that we have Turkey and Qatar, who have uh, essentially been uh, supporting a lot of these uh, Islamist militants in Libya, and uh, so this is a very very interesting situation. Um, apparently, uh, at least in, in public. Obama uh, administration is outraged that they were in the loop. In fact, they were given assurances that um, Egypt, Egypt would not act alone. But uh, for me, the most interesting thing about this and uh, amusing thing is that now we have Egypt uh, feeling legitimized in uh, uh, doing this kind of unilateral, unilateral uh, action uh, modeled after the United States itself, as well as uh, Israel. So it's kind of interesting to see Egypt uh, buy into that same tactic where they can uh, just unilaterally uh, pick sides in the supposedly liberated NATO success in Libya <clears throat> and uh, choose sides. And, uh, and of course, uh, this brings into to question as well um, who exactly are the backers behind uh, General uh, Hifter. And uh, I'll attach my uh, last video about Libya uh, below, where uh, chaos almost seems like the good times, uh, when you see what's going on there in the in the uh, the uh, uh, chaos and beyond chaos that Libya has descended into, particularly the border regions where uh, everyone who uh, doesn't have a, a skin in the game is trying to get the hell out of Dodge. But uh, so this will be interesting to see uh, what else happens. Uh, certainly, the United States is probably not going to do anything serious. Um, they probably just assume uh, that uh, perhaps Egypt gets involved. Uh, who knows? Maybe the United States even all uh, pre-condone this uh, action uh, with the United Arab Emirates and Egypt, ostensibly American uh, allies of some uh, nature, uh, going and taking care of business in Libya themselves. And, yeah, and I'll finish with the uh, the other interesting and and or amusing thing about this, of course, is that we have this. Uh, Gaddafi removed by a NATO, so-called NATO coalition, basically the United States, uh, 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 liberating from Gaddafi, if you want to call it that, and then uh, having the state uh, descend into chaos after setting up a puppet government, and uh, now we have Egypt and the United Arab Emirates going in there to clean up the mess that was left behind. So, uh, so everybody gets to, to join in in this massive uh, Middle Eastern wide, North African-wide, uh, epic clusterfuck. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.